Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing, and today I'm going to discuss how often I hear the phrase, I'd love to be an investor, but... and the common excuses and the fears that follow that statement. Investing in great companies is the best way to grow your wealth, no question about it. It's the best way to become financially free. It's the best way to enjoy your retirement. It's the best way to get to a retirement. But many people are held back by financial fears, and that's just really too bad. Rule one investors know there's nothing to be afraid of. Let's look at some common financial fears, and we'll shine a light on them. And you're going to see that these fears are only illusions. Now, these are the kinds of things that people say when they're afraid. The first excuse I hear that holds people back from wanting to be an investor is they just don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start. Investing may seem overwhelming from the outside. I get that. I've been on the outside. It was ridiculous. I wouldn't even think about being an investor. But once you understand what you're doing, it's a lot easier than you think. It's pretty dang simple to get going on it. To get started, let's follow this three-step plan. All right, so first what we wanna do is we wanna get out of high interest rate debt, okay? So if you're not paying off your cards every month and you've got yourself an 18% debt, get rid of that. That's a phenomenal rate of return right there. All right, second, open an online brokerage account. Yes, you're gonna get it open. It's gonna be exciting. You put in $2,000, all right, get it open. And if you don't have $2,000, you open an online brokerage account with zero money and just set up a paper trading account. You can totally do it, it's easy. Third, start a watch list of great companies. I want you to look for companies whose businesses you understand. They might sell products that you use, they might be in an industry that you work in or you're otherwise familiar with, but they should be solid companies that are likely to be in business 10 years from now and they'll be run all that time, hopefully, by very honest people that you like. And you should feel good about the company's values. You should feel good about what they're putting in the world. Now, after you find a few of these companies, get them on a list, we call that a watch list, and then wait to buy them until they go on sale, right? It's pretty straightforward. So you wanna know more? All you gotta do is take my free training courses for beginners. We break it all down for you. You can just follow it step by step. It's totally simple. Now, the second excuse I hear often is, I'll lose all my money. I know I will. If I put my money in anything, it goes straight down, all right? Now, Warren Buffett built a fortune by following two rules. Rule number one, don't lose money. And rule number two, don't forget rule number one. So we're going to learn to invest in a direct opposition to that fear that you've got there that you're gonna lose money. We're gonna focus on not losing it. We're not even gonna focus on making a lot of money, although we talk about it from time to time. The truth is, we just have a system that's great. Warren Buffett's been doing it for 80 years or something. He's able to be confident that he would have these great investments because he has a great system. He invested in wonderful companies that are selling at discounted prices. And all the system requires you do is make a short list and then wait patiently until they go on sale. Now these companies, when they go on sale, are highly likely to be worth more in 10 years than those companies were when Warren bought them or when I bought them or when you buy them. So prices in the market, they go up, they go down. But if you're a smart investor like Buffett, you hold on through these price swings and ultimately the long-term direction on the company is up. Now you won't lose money unless you sell when a company's prices drop below what you paid and you won't have that happen if you hold it for 10 years and it's a great company. It's going to go up, especially if you bought it on sale. If you've chosen a good company, you bought it on sale, literally all you have to do is wait, be patient until it goes back up. Charlie Munger said, we don't make money when we buy, we don't make money when we sell, we make money when we wait. So when people get scared and sell off their investments because the price is temporarily dropped, that's when they get into trouble. And that's when they start to feel like, oh, everything I do goes down. You can gain an enormous competitive edge over the rest of the market when you use your head instead of being emotional. And your head should tell you that you understand what you're doing. There's no need to be afraid. You bought a great company on sale. It's gonna go up in the long run. So third, I always hear, well, I'd love to be an investor, but I'm afraid the stock market will crash. 
And you know, of course, the moment you put your money in the market is when the crash starts, right? So smart investors know something really important about stock market crashes, and this is super important. These things are not only nothing to be afraid of, they are in fact providing us with an amazing opportunity. When everybody else is dumping stocks, rule one investors like Buffett and Munger, me, we are calmly looking at our watch list to watch which of our companies are starting to sell at a large discount. When the market starts to come back up, we know we're gonna be in great shape. So if during a crash, you buy a company that's selling for half of what it's worth, and then it comes back up, you just doubled your money, which is pretty sweet. If that happens over a three year period, you're making 26% a year compared to that of what you're making now. Another common excuse I hear is, ah, I'd love to be an investor, but I don't have time. This is really common. A lot of you are thinking this right now. Ooh, it's gonna take a lot of time. In investing, it just pays us to work smarter, not longer, okay? You don't need much time to become a successful investor. This is one of the greatest fallacies of investing. If you're doing it right, it doesn't take a lot of time. With rule number one strategy, once you've got your watch list set up, we're talking about 15 minutes a week or so. Anybody can find 15 minutes. I don't care how busy you are. And it just imagine that you could secure a financial future on a few hours to prepare a watch list to find a great company and then 15 minutes a week after that to keep track of it. Now, the final excuse I hear is, I'd love to be an investor, but I'm not good with numbers. Well, if you read Danielle's book, Invested, my daughter, she's not good with numbers and she's a really good investor now. So have you ever seen those old movies where accountants are wearing the eye shades and they're tapping away on like their little manual adding machine? It was hard to be an investor in those days. That's my days back then, pre-internet. Imagine that. The math took us forever. We had all these documents you gotta get from the companies. It takes forever to get to us. Lucky for us now, we have the internet. You guys are at a great time of life. If you don't like numbers, the internet can handle it. Believe me, no problem. I've got financial calculators on my website that are a snap to use, they're free for you. They're gonna do all the hard work for you to help you find out how much money you need to have a fantastic retirement and whether a company on your watch list is a good deal at its current price. Your job is just to find companies you understand. All the rest of the math stuff that gets handled really nicely by the computer. Find companies you understand, find companies that share your values and that have a big competitive advantage. That's all we're looking for. It's the job of the calculators to crunch the numbers. Okay, I've broken down all those common excuses for you guys out there, so it's time to say goodbye to fear. Franklin D. Roosevelt hit the nail on the head back in the depression when he said, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. When you look closely at common financial fears that we've talked about, you're gonna see there's nothing to be afraid of. You guys can do this. The only way you can really lose is if you just let fear stop you from doing it. Then you're gonna miss out on the greatest opportunity you will have in your lifetime to grow your wealth and ensure your financial security. And it's coming up really soon. The best way to banish any lingering fear is to just take action based on a solid strategy, something you can trust. And following the steps I've described already, trust it. Just start researching companies, make a watch list of great companies, look for buying opportunities when those really good companies go on sale, be patient, and keep your eye on the long term. These are the time-tested ways to succeed in the market, you guys. They've been effective for 85 years, from Ben Graham to Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, all the way down through me. They work, you guys. They work through depressions, world wars, inflation, deflation. They work. You can trust them. And now I'd love to hear from you. What's holding you back from being an investor? Just leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how to overcome common investing fears, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And hey, don't forget to click on the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.